Hello there. Good morning. So I thought I would sort of do a vlog. It's not a vlog, like a talk through. Um, this today is Monday, the twenty ninth of January. So we're the last Monday of January, and I thought because I've got a day off today, I'm on annual leave for day, so I could have a little bit of a long weekend. Um, I would do my Moody Monday read, and so what I decided to go with is the uh, Wuthering Heights graphic novel and it says the full story in quick modern English for the fast paced read for a fast paced read so yeah so I'm going to go with that I've got my cup of tea I am just holding my camera I haven't got my tripod so hopefully the angles are, gra are not too bad hopefully this is a quick video and yes I will catch up with you very shortly on how I am doing or what I am thinking of the graphic novel because like a lot of people I uh, Wuthering Heights is one of my favourite novels, um, you know, by Emily Bronte. And yes, so I'm going to compare it. It's a few years since I read Wuthering Heights and hopefully do a reread very shortly. But yes, I thought I would uh, give this a go. Try to do this with both hands, but we've got, obviously, I'm just showing you the odd page, sort of a graphic novel. Of there, uh, can't get a hold of it. The pictures. So yes, catch up with you shortly and see how we're going. So at the beginning of the novel, we've got a, a page that explains exactly who everybody is and who they're related to to help you, I suppose, understand the story and how they're all related. And so I think that's quite handy, isn't it? Um, nice thing to start with. So we'll uh, we'll 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 start the novel. So we start, and obviously the narrator is Mr. Lockwood, and it's him arriving. And one of the opening phrases he says is, "This is This is a beautiful part of England. It's true. Yorkshire is a beautiful part of England, and I do love the Yorkshire moors, etc. Um, and it's the novel is set in eighteen o one. Um, he's just arriving to meet Mr Heathcliff. Heathcliff, he is his um, landlord. And it's, like I say, it's a, a, a find it not strange, but a, 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 not, it's not odd. Even though I've sort of read the book, it, it's a graphic novel. Having somebody narrating the story seems a little bit... I'll get used to it. I've only just begun it. Um, so... But, you know, obviously the the um, graphics are very dark, very greens and browns to, to set the atmosphere. Um, so, yeah, let's see how we go. So, again, um, I still find it a bit strange reading it as a graphic novel. I'm enjoying it and I still I kind of hear the uh, Yorkshire accent I can, when uh the the talking, especially when he clips talking and you're getting the famous lines, let me try and I'll go back a page <clears throat> which is um Kathy said I'm sorry, you look odd being all dirty and Heathcliff replies, I shall be as dirty as I please and dirty, I like to be dirty and I will be dirty. And I remember you know these are such a famous quotes from the book that it's so I don't I'm not to say what did I expect was I expecting it just to be kind of just telling the story um but having it's good that it's got these famous lines in it uh so yeah it's quite good like I say in my head reading it I can I can hear um the Yorkshire accent the I have this voice of Heathcliff in my head, um, not to say like, like an uneducated voice, but kind of, you know, he's not a gentleman yet. We're just at the, the beginning, uh, Kathy's bead, and she's stayed with the Lintons, and, you know, she's come back a lady. So things are changing in their relationship. So, yes, we'll continue and catch up. Okay, so I have finished Wuthering Heights of graphic novel. I thoroughly enjoyed it actually. Um, it took a wee while, as I say, get getting used to the fact it was written as a graphic novel. I certainly would read it again. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you know the story of Wuthering Heights, of Heathcliff and Cathy, the endless love. Um, and, you know, I was going to say the evilness, the... Heathcliff, is he misunderstood? Is he... Did he just... Was it just his love for this... I wouldn't even say his child... I would say his childhood sweetheart. Um, you know, was she... Not misleading him, because I feel, you know, obviously there was... They loved each other, and, you know, the ma fact that she married Mr Linton when... Or, you know, she claims that she wanted to bring... Heathcliff from under a, a brother's ownership, really, I suppose, cruelty. Um, but that doesn't excuse Heathcliff and his behaviour to both Cathy, to his wife Isabel, to the children in this story, you know, the characters' children. Um, but what I found interesting actually at the back, oh, sorry, that's uh talking about various other ones i might actually look at those ones ha 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 where's it gone so it said obviously today wuthering heights is considered a masterpiece of english literature and has regarded by many as their classic their favorite classic in novel inspiring numerous other books and uh, most notably being the stephanie meyer's twilight series I didn't know Twilight series. I mean, not that I've read them. I've seen some of the films, but I didn't have, know that was inspired by uh, Wuthering Heights. You learn something new every day. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to... I was going to rate it, really, I suppose. I already love the story or enjoy the story as much as you can enjoy um, Wuthering Heights. You know, um, I think it... It was a. It's a great way to consume a, a classic. It's a great introductory to the novel. It is a good way, I think, of um, reading classics and makes it accessible to people. So I would recommend it, and I will keep it. Like I say, I'll, I'll, will most definitely read it again. You know, it is a quick read. It is a modern classic. It's. You know, it's very good. I really enjoyed it. So, yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs, thumbs up. Subscribe my channel if you don't already, already do so. Comment do, down below. Um, have you read Wuthering Heights? Is it your one of your favourites? I know sometimes it's a bit of a marmite. Some people love it. Some people, it's you know, they can't see what the fuss is about. Um, it is a very dark book, isn't it? It's very um, sad. It's, um, yeah, a very dark story of love, I suppose, and relationships. So, yeah. I will see you shortly in another video. If you have got to the end of this video and can't think of anything else to um, say, I'm trying to think, what would we have? I wouldn't say a dark heart, I suppose, um, because I think that's what they had. A broken heart, a dark heart. I'm trying to think what colour hearts you can get. Um... But yes, and I certainly, like I say, would look into other classics in this way. So, yeah, see you very shortly in another video. Thanks for watching.